Joan Kubilias was 13 when she had to put her dreams for herself aside. That's when she got pregnant with her first child. Now 19, her husband is in jail. She and her children share a small room with her mother, and she works part-time as a waitress to feed them all. I didn't know anything. I was very young. That's why I didn't know any better. I never got to finish my studies because of this, even if I wanted to. But Kubilius' situation isn't unique. The population in the Philippines continues to grow by almost 2 million every year. And though there might not be much of a change in the total birth rate, the number of teenage mothers has risen 70% in 10 years, the highest in Southeast Asia. 10% of the annual pregnancies in the Philippines are attributed to teenagers. And the latest government statistics show that the less educated, poorer women give birth earlier and have more children. Teaching sex education to preteens in public schools is a controversial topic in this predominantly Roman Catholic nation. And the distribution of any means of artificial birth control is still being debated in the Senate as part of a reproductive health bill. As it stands now, there is no It's been 17 years since the parent bill on population control was first filed. And health and women's groups are concerned that continued delays in passing its current incarnation as a reproductive health bill will leave more and more women vulnerable. If that bill was a girl, uh, that girl would have had uh, kids by now. If we want our young people to be able to really, you know, work for a better future, then it is the state responsibility to fulfill the rights of our young people on matters of reproductive health. Because ultimately, advocates say it's all about development and transcending poverty, which would be difficult to do if the population keeps growing as it does. As grateful as she now is for her children, Kubilia says she does have regrets. And the last thing she wants is for her daughter to have to give up her dreams, too. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.